Hey everybody, quick little video for you. We are back at this International 300 tractor, which is a project I've had sitting around for too long. Um, but I've got a big old forklift motor just set in the front. Um, and then looking very cobbled together is just some various components I've had around, including this Alltrax motor controller. It is hooked up to uh, 48 volts of batteries down there. Um, and we've got a... Uh, DC DC converter so I don't need a 12 volt battery and a main contactor which I'm just going to run through this pre-charge resistor for a moment here and then turn on the power to our to our motor controller so you can see now uh, the solid green shows that we've got power and it is working correctly uh, on the back of the motor I have just a little cheapy tachometer uh, with a magnet taped on. This is the back end of the motor. Uh, this needs to go clockwise to match up with um, what the tractor is going to need. So at this point, I should be able to move my potentiometer. Variable power is going to come out of this to make this spin, and hopefully the polarity is right. This should spin clockwise, and we'll see um, our speed up here. So here we go. <laughs> okay. And this tractor is designed to run between about 1800 and 2000 RPM, so we'll shoot for that number. We're not even halfway. So it looks like uh, at 48 volts, you could probably go up to like about 5,000 RPM. Maybe I can hook up the voltmeter to the output here and see what the equivalent voltage is at that position. And I'll put that in the comments. But it looks like uh, this motor is working with the collect correct polarity and anything over, I don't know, 24 volts probably runs uh, high enough uh, RPM that we're looking for.